ho, hello, and welcome <laughs> to our channel. <laughs> I wondered if How I should do you that. How long were you planning that for? Yeah, I, a bit before you might see, I was like smiling. <laughs> I'm like, Ooh. oh, oh, hello. Oh, do you like hello. that, now? Yeah, I like that. Oh, ho, oh, hello, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are getting festive. Very festive, if you couldn't already tell from our outfits. Yes, this is a very exciting time. Alex has another Christmas jumper. And really, the other one was more of a joke that I bought, yeah. wasn't it? Whereas this is a really nice jumper. And although the other one was in my size, it's obviously one of those jumpers that's like it's really, really tight. Down. Yeah. Uh, really tight fitting, like a hard knit, isn't it? Maybe I should try tight and wear knit. it then. Yeah, maybe you should. Yeah, I'll be, be the elf and safety. safety. <laughs> yeah. But I really like this. And I this. wasn't prompted this time. No, it's really nice. And I think you don't often wear Christmas jumpers just in, at Christmas. I don't like novelty clothes. <laughs> Whereas I do. Whereas I feel like you could wear that with like a nice jacket out, yeah. couldn't you? Would you wear that? Possibly. Anyway, today <laughs> is super exciting because we have some British festive treats to try. Yeah, recently we've done a couple of videos videos of trying things from the UK yeah. and people have really enjoyed them so we thought why not do one of Christmas stuff. We both think that Christmas is some of the best time of the year for Christmas chocolates and sweets. Yeah. We do have Christmas boxes on our website at this moment. Yeah. If you want to check them out we'll leave a link down below. We've got a selection of Christmas boxes on our website yeah. right now and when you get one of those not only do you help support the channel and keep us making these videos yeah. you get to try awesome British Christmas goodies. So definitely check them out. Right shall we crack in now? Yes, I'm super let's. excited. So I went shopping yesterday actually. Mm. I went to Marks and Spencer's, yeah. we got some M&S goodies. I went to Tesco's, yeah. so we've got more generic brands yeah. that are just, we went to Aldi. Yeah. I think that's it. Mm. We've got one bag of crisps, shall we start? Yes, I please. think you're gonna be excited. Have you had a sneak peek? I saw the word mushroom, so. We have got Tesco's finest wild mushroom and truffle flavor. <sighs> Limited edition, so, so good. they don't necessarily sound Christmas, but they're their Christmas selection. So like you can see like the yeah. bag's festive and they had some like pigs in blankets, turkey and stuffing, but we've tried those before. So yeah. I thought it's best to try something like this. Wild mushroom and truffle may not sound like a Christmas flavor, it is like a luxury flavor. That's and the thing. And I think Christmas is a time for a bit of an indulgence, And like indulgent luxury. Mm. So let's see, are they as good as the Swedish crisps? <laughs> it's gonna be hard. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. Are they even gonna be as good as the Marks and Spencer's Marks and truffles Spencer's one? Wow, they look great, Al. They look really nice. Are they just mushroom and truffle? They actually look like they've got green on them. Although I'd have to say, I think the Swedish ones look better. Mmm. Mm. These are good. Go Tesco's. On the back it says about onion and garlic powder. That is humongous. <laughs> There's got to be like parsley. Mm. That must be what's on it. These are so good. I know the Swedish ones are probably better. Mm. These are really giving it a good run for its money. Is that what mm. you're saying? Because don't you think they've got a great covering? It's like one of those powdery crisps. Mmm. Yeah. yeah, I think by them being with the mushroom makes them much closer to the Swedish. Because the truffle ones we've had before, you get that truffle flavour, but it's not like on the tip of your tongue, is it? It's more like a mouthfeel type yeah. flavour. Yeah, and sometimes because of the mushroom, truffle can be too much. Yeah, the mushroom really brings it out. And also the other bits you're saying about the onion and the parsley, it's delicious. Two thumbs mm. up. Amazing. Four thumbs up. Mm. They're so well, good. Why have we just changed our rating metric? <laughs> yeah, one thumb, two thumbs. Four thumbs. <laughs> three. <laughs> no, we don't do three. That's like 13. <laughs> oh, go. yeah. Mushroom, we were saying recently, mm. isn't always that flavorful. But I personally think the mushroom's really quite strong in these, and the truffle is a good amount. Mm. They mix really well together. Really well. Great We stuff. don't often have mushroom crust here, do we? I, I d no. I, oh, don't, I don't think we ever. I don't think we do at, at all. Christmas. So I'm really pleased. Go Tesco's for doing Go that. Go Tesco's. Ooh, I'm starting with a 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10, yeah, mm. really good. Now I hope you enjoyed that because that was the only like savory thing. I know what Christmas I want this Christmas. Right, now I know you've got a Christmas jumper. Yeah. But before we get too far, I almost forgot I got you something else. <laughs> what the hell? Close I was thinking eyes. you wouldn't need to get me anything. Oh, Bob wants to get up. Would you be able to oh. just turn around and help Bob? Oh, Bob. <laughs> he was just looking. in the background. Good boy. Three, two, one, open. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to wear these the whole video. No, I just thought they'd be fun to put on. What, would, what ones would you like, Al? Well, I would say the trees, but if you put the hats on, it's it a bit double-hatty, so I'll... 
Now, these have kind of come at an interesting time because today I've just picked up my glasses. Oh, yeah. I need glasses. So you need to practice. I got to 29 without glasses. I think I did pretty well. Although he's saying that from what you've said since you put the glasses <laughs> on, I would say you probably could have done with them a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, I think I could have. These are from Asda if anyone wants to get them. They're only a pound. <laughs> These are quite funny. Actually, these, are, these work well with my hat, don't you think? These are totally impractical. Oh. Yours are much better. I can't see <laughs> a thing. Just got, I've just got fur in my face. Is it because it needs pushing up? It's not meant to be there. Sorry, one sec. <laughs> they are totally impractical. No, I think it is meant to be Christmas. there. Look, that's where it is, oh, pointing down. that is down. stupid. Whereas these are great. And I think these go really well with the hat, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to switch? Yeah. Yeah, but it's just going to be in your eyes. Probably even worse on your eyelashes. No, it's okay. I've got the triple Christmas hat. The triple Christmas hats. Where would you like to go next, Al? I reckon a bake thing. So we have got Mr. Kipling Ooh. festive bake wells. Now, year round, they do normal bake well tarts, which you've never heard of them. It's like an almond paste, isn't it? Yeah. With like an icing top, and there's usually a bit of a jam. Yeah, is do you it cherry? Hear? No, actually, which is good. because Is I, that the festive part? The, I think that's the festive part. This is actually pastry cake with a layer of plum and raspberry mm, jam, nice. an almond flavor sponge. Oh, it's a sponge. Top of fondant icing and mixed colored sugar pieces. Now in the past, I would never pick these, but ever since trying those um, almond pastries that you love. Oh, I was gonna say are these inspired by the Dutch. Yeah, so. Um, the Dutch trying video. They look really good yeah, actually, don't they? Yeah, the almond cookies. Mr. Kipling, I would say is like our UK hostess. Like little Debbie's, that or, sort um, of thing. It's like packaged goods. Packaged baked goods. Are you surprised I got this actually? Well, normally almond? I would, but after we did the Dutch video, I'm not because you said, How maybe now are. I'll try a bake well tart. <laughs> so I'm not surprised. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I just didn't realize it was gonna happen so soon. Mm. Do you like bake well tarts? I was literally just gonna say, I would never get a bake well tart. Although I do actually like the flavors. Never it's not one. something I ever pick up. Apart from, there was this cafe I went to when I was cycling once and they had like a Bakewell slice. Mm. It was so good. I suppose because sometimes when you're at a cafe, cafe. <laughs> the Bakewell tart would probably be not your top choice so mm. you would just go for something else. But what do you think to this? Really nice. I really like this. I this always, is lovely. I always looked at these and wish I'd like them. I'm going up in the world. It was for a small little pastry tart. It's actually quite filling. Oh yeah. It's almost like a cake. Yeah. I think because of the almond, it's not too sweet. It's mm. not like overly sweet, is it? I'm so glad it's not cherry jam. Mm. I think mm. I might have a new favourite Christmas packaged pastry. That is amazing. Usually I'm a mince pie mm. stolen. Would you eat that over a mince pie then? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I love about that? That icing on top just sweetens it up a bit. It really does, doesn't but it? But not too much. And then the little sprinkles on top give a nice a little nice crunch. crunch. I thought the pastry was going to be really dry. Yeah. I think I finally have a festive like and little... that jam is delicious. The jam's amazing. That. that is so good. What are you giving that out of 10? I'm giving it 10 out of 10. I'm giving that 10 out of it's 10. It's amazing. I really and think... that's something I never would have picked up before. No. These glasses are so Yeah, I'm going to have to take them off. <laughs> It's like hard to concentrate because there's so much in your field of view. Mr. Kipling is great. Mm. You know, I really think his Mr. Stuff Kipling is, good. is the gold standard in packaged baked goods. Mm -hmm. I, I, think so. I don't think there's anyone even competing Who can with beat them. Is them? No, I don't think so. Oh, so good. Now, one more thing from Mr. Kipling. Eight frosty fancies. Now, I have had these. So basically, Mr. Kipling's do French fancies. But what they've started doing, which I feel like is more inspired by like America, because we never used to do like that many festive things, did mm. we? But now they come out with like orange ones at Halloween. Yeah. Um, these at Christmas. They're frosted fancy, but I swear they were called Snowman one year. But basically, if you've never had one, it's a mini cake. It's like a petit four, isn't it? Mini cake, little bit of cream on top, and then it's iced, iced. with like a water icing and then drizzled with icing. Mm. Do you love these things? I do like them. I don't often eat them, but I do like them. Now, I'm They're wondering so if you sweet, think these they? would be too sweet for you. Mm. Not for me. This is like magical god for children. Exactly like that, yeah. Oh, these are just heaven. It's like just a little square of sponge cake. Which always manages to be moist. Moist. Probably because of the um, the icing. Then that little bit of icing on top yeah. just makes it, doesn't it? Because it's nice and soft and sweet. I wish we could put these in our candy boxes, but the mm. dates are never that long. 
and that's obviously because they need it to be nice and moist. Unlike Hostess, they don't have dates that are like months away. Yeah. This is only like a week or two, a couple of weeks. Mm. Too sweet for you? That is so sweet, but so good. Mm. So this flavour is just like a vanilla, whereas usually they have yellow, pink and brown. So one's like kind of chocolatey, it's one's one strawberry and one's lemon. That's mm. it, I couldn't think what it was. I thought those were going to be over the tarts, they're not, but I'm they? putting the tarts. Yeah. I think that's because these are just sweet. Mm. Although they're delicious, they're just sweet. Whereas the tarts have so much texture So much flavour. Flavour. Yeah. Oh, that was so good. Really good. Do you want to stick on the baked goods? Yeah. Now I've got something that's not up there. Oh, you've got something that's not here? Yeah. I'm excited about something that is there. <laughs> oh, are you? Yeah. I think you might be more excited about something that's here. Really? M&S Bakery. <laughs> I put them in a Ziploc. <laughs> we have got Santa's belly. Oh no, Santa's belt, young nuts. <laughs> <Santa's be> <laughs> That's as bad as me. Maybe you do need your glasses. I do need my glasses. Santa's belt, yum nut. I is don't that think like it's a, got nut in it though. No, that's like a yum yum, yum, yum and a donut. A yum nut. Well, at least you've got a brain. <laughs> and then I think you're going to be excited for this, Al. <laughs> you read it, go on. <laughs> it's a mince pie and custard danish. I'm not excited for that, All but I thought you'd be. All butter pastry topped with a vanilla custard and mince meat. These are in like the M&S at the back near the bakery mm. sections. This is all I really saw, but I think they had more. We went quite late. Yeah. This one first. Nice Danish. The layers. Mm. All right, that's good. Is it? Mm. How's it compared? Would you rather just a normal custard Danish? Or is the mince? I'd rather have a mince pie. Would you? Mm. That's the thing. Sometimes I think every year shops feel like they need to come out with like, there were puff pastry mince pies and other things. But, but I think a lot of people have like a Danish as like a grab and go like breakfast, don't they? I suppose they're thinking more so for breakfast. So it's more like or a little dessert. Or, you know, I've just added a little bit of a Christmassy flavour to yeah. something they already do. I think they also know that people are real suckers for like something festive. Oh, it's got mince pie mm. on it, so I'll just nibble the edge. I got more mince meat that time. Yeah, it was a good combination. The custard's nice. Mm. Quite vanilla -y, but... It's just quite flat, isn't mm. it? I'm preferring the Mr. Kipling, which is mm. a packaged good. Mm. I'm hoping this yum nut is... That's what I was really drawn to. So it is like a yum yum, because it's got this icing all over. You know they've called it a yum nut? Yeah. What's the difference between a cronut? So that's a croissant, croissant and, and a, a donut. donut. Mm. I just think that's really smart. It wouldn't take much to do that, would it? Oh, that's like a buttercream, actually. That's really nice. Really sugary, but really nice. Like you say, it's got the layers of pastry. Mm. It isn't like a donut. It is more like a yum yum in the shape of a donut. Mm -hmm. That's really good, isn't it? Oh. Are you getting something lemony? Yeah. That might be like the icing. I'm a real sucker for that like water icing. You're you know, crispy crispy mm. creams. Sometimes I just prefer, prefer the original. What are we giving that? 10 out of 10. Mm. If only, I'm gonna put a tiny spot of jam in. Mm. That's 10 times better than that, isn't it? 10 times. Although I don't like the chocolate. Oh, do you not? No. Okay. You know when you get that weird tasting like chocolate icing? Oh. Um, it's like that. It's obviously kind mm. of flavored. It's not really yeah. chocolate. Okay, so... I'd be better off just leaving that off. I'd but say that was best. a 50% success rate. Like, I think you would enjoy that again, but you wouldn't pick oh, it again. Oh, I'd have it. It wouldn't be my first choice. No, but this I would definitely be getting yeah. again. Now everything is here, so yeah. do you want to just pick something next out? Yeah, let's... Should we go for Baklava? Yes. Yeah. So this is Aldi. So where is this actually from? Because I said British. Aldi is Germany. Sweet Vilo pastry with brandy mince meat topped with sugar snow. You just said Aldi, doesn't that say Lidl? Anyone else get them totally mixed up? Yeah. This is Lidl, this not is Aldi. Lidl. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't go to Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> so as we know from our recent Greek video, baklava definitely isn't British. No. But we do have Lidl in the UK. And so it's fair game to try in a... <laughs> exactly. But these look nice, don't they? These look really interesting, don't they? It almost they? looks like a pastry version of a mince pie, doesn't it? Yeah. I suppose this is kind of their take on a mince yeah. pie. Because you know, do you ever get it and it's really disappointing when you go somewhere and they give out mince pies, but instead of the mince pies being short crust pastry, that's they what they usually puff. are. They do puff. Why that's, would you do that? It's just the most awful thing I've ever known a human do. Mm. Wow. Not for me. I think what's a little bit disappointing is when we had that baklava from Greece, the pastry was so delicious. Yeah. 
I've just had a whole load of pastry. It almost tasted of nothing. It, it tastes really dry. And that back lava was so like sweet and you could almost taste like the sugar crystals, couldn't you? And like the honey. It's That's like I'm really... eating layers of paper. No, I'm not a fan of those at all. It's really disappointing. Well, I knew I'm not a fan of mince mm. pies anyway, but I thought maybe you'd like it, but that is so disappointing. Yeah. I literally saw those and thought, you are going to love those. Well, I've been excited this whole video to eat them. Oh, wow. Maybe that's why sometimes you've got to start with the good stuff, haven't you? And it turns out it's not the good After stuff. After that baklava from the Greek video, I am just obsessed now with baklava and want to eat it whenever I can. They called it baklava, but I don't think it should be called that because I thought baklava was meant to be every layer has like honey and like a thing on it. That's, that's got nothing in between. That's probably what it's meant to be, but they've taken the idea of baklava and thought mince pies and they've wrapped them in the sheets, but they haven't done all their... Maybe the, they were trying to keep the stuff. calories down. Maybe they thought if we put no all the... No one wants low calories at Christmas. I'm going to go and say zero. I'm going to say, yeah. I know that might be harsh, but what I mean by zero is that I will never buy them again. And I wouldn't recommend it. And I wouldn't recommend does. it, no. no. So I think it all, it has to be zero. Yeah. Because I think I in think the past we've only we'd ever do... given a zero. Yeah, but didn't we give thing. a zero to something that was horrible? Like, I'm not saying it's horrible, but I wouldn't recommend, I wouldn't buy again... And it's yeah. not what it says on the tin. Well, I'll give it a two. Okay, give it two. Because it's, it's edible, but I wouldn't edible, tell yeah. anyone to buy it. Do you want to stick to more little things? Yeah, let's go for it. So we've got, which I feel like these are kind of what we tried with Michelle. Yeah. Um, these, do you want like to try little gingerbread. That? Leb Cuchu assortment. So I think it's like assortment of, oh, assorted glazed or dark chocolate covered spiced German style mm. biscuits. Okay, you're getting a bit on the edge here. This is meant to be a British. Yeah. This is very German. It literally says on the pack German. Yeah, but you said about going to Lidl and Aldi. What are you trying to fall? So they're like festive shapes. It's like the moon, the star, there's a bell. Looks cute. What's festive about the moon? It was the night before oh, Christmas. Oh, no. No, they followed a star. But I guess they're following the star, they see the moon. Not feeling it. I was a bit excited because mm. I love those things that Michelle sent us. But they're not these. These aren't as good. I, I think the if... spices are strong enough. No, the dark chocolate isn't very good. These oh, aren't. I was so excited for these those. These aren't as good, are they? No. That's a shame. Hopefully these can't go wrong because it's just a butter biscuit with sugar decoration and milk yeah, chocolate. Yeah, you should be able to get that wrong. Famous last words. Yeah. Smells good. Mm. That's better. No, the biscuit's got a weird flavour. It says butter biscuits, because I suppose they can't technically call that shortbread. Mm. But in some ways, it has a shortbread-like flavour. So yeah. I think that's the butter. It almost tastes like burnt, though. It's quite a strong, like, mm. bitter, mm. back-of-the-mouth flavour. We quite often get little kind of, like, fresh-baked things, don't yeah. we? I'm much preferring their just, like, fresh stuff mm. over their packaged stuff. Yeah. Let us know down below if you agree. I think their stuff made there is much better. Yeah, Favorina. Oh yeah, because I suppose that's a brand, not... But they've obviously made them for Lidl, because mm. Lidl is printed on here. And I guess they've just gone, okay, make these for us, make these for us. And it's not good. the best, but it's not awful. Oh no, that's It's not still awful. a nice biscuit. Yeah. And that'd be good, you know, if you had a Christmas party mm. with a Christmas spread, putting some of those out, leave them out for Father Christmas. Yeah. So I think that's quite nice. Now, McVitie's digestives are a classic over here. And yes, you heard right, digestive. We've got Christmas pudding flavour. Now, this is actually the second year they've done these. Um, they also have a gingerbread flavour, oh, I believe. But I thought we had quite a lot of gingerbread, so I thought... And I like Christmas pudding. You don't. I don't. If you follow us on Instagram, if you don't, this with them. We did try these mm. and I really like them. So did mum, so did dad, so did Holes. I think they've done it well. It pretty much is a digestive biscuit, but it's got flavors mm. of a Christmas pudding, but they're not fake. No, it's the really good. The aftertaste is like I've had a bite of Christmas pudding. It's just a nice addition to the flavor, isn't it? And that is why I like them because I don't like Christmas pudding. And I think this whole time I thought it was because I don't like raisins and whatever. Mm. But actually, it's not the flavour of raisins I don't like. It's sometimes how they're in a sponge. And like, when they go a bit soggy, and I don't like the texture in my sponge mm. having like raisins. That's the best bit. Really? Yeah. But you didn't used to like that, did yeah, you? love that. I thought you didn't. No, Why I don't, don't you like tea cakes I don't then? like raisins in bread. Mm. I don't like the mix between 
savoury and sweet. But you like a pudding. I love a pudding because it's sweet. Mm -hmm. Raisins are sweet. Right. They Whereas shouldn't be with I enjoy this because I'm getting the flavours of those like spices mm. without having to have the pudding. They would be really good, I think, with a cup of tea or a coffee. Mm. They're going over the little things. I think I'll give them a 9 out of 10. I'm giving them a 9 out of yeah. 10. I think they've done the flavour so well considering it's not a real pudding. M&S, which I go. think around Christmas is some of the best. Yeah. Now they have these tubs year round, but they've got a Christmas flavour, which is... Extremely chocolatey, yeah. snowy your log bites. Oh, doesn't that sound great? That sounds really good. On the back it says, gently shake the tub for a festive snowy sugar dusting. <laughs> Go on, I'll make it snow. I think because obviously the powdered sugar just falls oh. down. <laughs> Does every country have your log? Let us know. What do you have for dessert at Christmas? Mm. You have Christmas pudding and custard. Mm. I have your log and custard. Let us know. How is it? Really good. Mm. Just as you'd expect. I was worried it was going to be a bit dry. Really? And at first, I was thinking it is. Mm. But actually, that outside chocolate is so thick. What are you giving those out? 10 out of 10. Yeah, delicious. 10 Difficulty. out of 10. But you know what? I'm still going Mr. Kipling's festive bake wells. Yeah, definitely. Because these are just chocolate, whereas they're yeah. so different. I'm such a fan of the bake wells now. Okay. You're a bake well girl now. This is a completely new bag. Never seen this before. I like the red, actually. Mm, and the bauble. Yeah. These are gingerbread fudge bites. I love, though, they say Christmas. Christmas. Just in case you weren't already sure by all the other keys. Yeah. Gingerbread fudge covered in milk and dark chocolate. Whoa. Oh, so these look exactly the same almost as the Yule Logs. Yeah. They're smaller. They smell really gingery. It's a shame they did ginger fudge. A little ginger biscuit in there would have been delicious. I like that it's fudge, mm. but I don't think it should be ginger. Oh, the ginger is so strong. It's really, it's like I've just had a ginger shot. Mm. This is one of those bags where you could only have one or two. The ginger is so strong. Really strong. That would have been so much nicer if it could have been like a salted caramel or something. You can have ginger flavour, which is nice. And mm. then you can have ginger where it tastes like you've literally grated a root ginger. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's way too strong. Yeah, I'm a bit gutted about those, actually. Yeah, that's a shame. I do think they're good, though. And if you like ginger, yeah, you'll you probably really like that. But it was the fact that ginger is so strong and the fudge, because it just kind of like bites through. There was no other texture. It was almost a bit slimy. Right. This is cool. Over here in the UK, we've talked about it before, there is a cake from M&S, which is very popular. It's called Colin the Caterpillar. Yeah. The best thing of a Colin the Caterpillar is the face for me, because I love white chocolate. I know you're not the biggest fan of white chocolate. I like but you the like feet, a, though. Yeah, you like the feet, which like are a little, little white. They've really been smart this year, and they've been doing much more like Colin things, haven't they? Yeah. They've been doing little Trading faces. Trading off how popular Colin is. Yeah, large faces. Because Colin has also, to give some backstory, just in case anyone doesn't know, has been copied by other supermarkets because it's so popular. Practically every supermarket yeah. in the UK. Sainsbury's has one as the mm. Tesco, Aldi, Lidl. So they've decided to expand the Colin brand. Mm -hmm. And they've also expanded the Percy Pig brand. Mm. Have you seen the M&S advert? You can like, advert? get ice cream and everything, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can get pillows, really? you can get stockings, you can get bath mats, you can get wow. cups, you can get plates. It's crazy how much Percy Pig stuff there is. Yeah. I was in M&S the other day and it's all like pink and Percy. Isn't it so weird? I feel like that's where we've come as a world now. Yeah, people used to love Percy Pigs, but you wouldn't want a pillow of Percy no. Pig. Whereas now Whereas it's like now you just want massive. all the things. Yeah. But what's exciting is they've done a bag of Colin the Caterpillar mm. faces, but they're mint. Did mint you see white that? chocolate, no. Yeah. So mint, Colin the Caterpillar, ice cool mini Colin faces. It's, it's the, best the best part, part of the, of the cake. cake. Limited edition. I think it's really good that they've done a different branding and packaging yeah. rather than just doing... I love this branding, the greeny kind of yeah. teal with the white dots looks amazing. And like with the green yeah. here as well looks amazing. I would call that blue. Look, these don't even have an open tab. What are m and doing? I feel like the mint's a bit weird, but I guess that's what makes it kind of Christmassy. Ice cool mini Colin face. And I suppose they don't want to change Colin too much, do they? No. Imagine if they did a whole minty Colin cake. It's usually more like milk and dark, isn't it? Mm. He's so cute. Is that what he looks like? Yeah. Yeah. He looks like he's got, hand. um, do you think he's got like those goggles on? It's like he's a fighter pilot, where he looks a bit like a cross between a minion and Colin. Yeah. Like, ee, ee. Ah, ba -da -ba -da -ba. Not sure how I feel about white chocolate and mint. Mmm. Mm. Well, if you think about it, we've had white chocolate bark, candy oh, cane yeah. bark from America. Well, I guess my worry was like being mint and really sweet. Mm. But actually, 
Because really of the sweet. mint, you don't really get any sweetness. Well, it's obviously sweet, but I mean, not sickly mm. sweet. That's the thing, you can't really taste it's white chocolate. No. It's just mint. Only that end bit where I was really like sucking. Yeah. So what do you think, Al? I think they're good, actually. Much better than I expected. It's a peppermint. Mm. What do you think? It's much stronger than I was expecting, mm. which is interesting because I feel like, I know a lot of adults like this, but I feel like a lot of kids like it as well. Yeah. And like peppermint is quite strong. What they're trying to do is like a candy cane, really. Yeah. That tastes like candy cane. Mm. That tastes like a candy cane brittle. So I think they've hit the nail on the head there. I think it's a light, nice mint, good chocolate. I like that. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think it's a really good product. I would definitely pick just the normal ones over that because I'm more of a spearmint person anyway. So I'd like it maybe more spearmint, but it really is like a candy cane and white chocolate. Yeah. White chocolate bar. It definitely is, isn't it? I think they've done really well there. Well done, M&S. Yeah, well Excellent. Done. Love the branding. Nice little Considering faces. they're white chocolate, that's 10 out of 10 for yeah, me, Yeah, I really mm. like that. Well done, M&S. Right. A five, six, seven, eight. I scared you there. <laughs> I wasn't letting it get to us talking about the end. <laughs> tree of the week. Can you not talk through tree Sorry. of the week? Sorry. Thank you. I think it's quite easy this week, please. I thought so. <laughs> now, I know they're Christmassy, but yeah. can you now pick a sweet as well? Because I'm interested to see what is your favourite, actually, okay. like, of the Christmas sweet treats. Okay. It's the festive bakewell. They were fabulous. So good. Light pastry cases with a layer of plum and raspberry jam. Moist almond flavour sponge. <laughs> softer icing. Finished with sprinkles. At first I was like, oh, Alex, you're really <laughs> changing your aura uh, describing. I felt like someone who'd, um, you know, say you're like an actor. And um, you didn't learn your lines. So you like oh, write them on the yeah, back of stuff. Yeah, on the back of... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I too will say, I wouldn't say they're my treat of the week, but out of the same, I just want to do a special mention to those. They're amazing. Well, and there then... was only one savoury. What do you mean out of the savoury? <laughs> okay, I'm going... Make a commitment. Festive Bakewells and the Father Christmas Yum Yum. Mm. Delicious. Great choice. Would you say that was a success there now? I would say that was a success. Yeah. That was good as well, because we saw what was good, we saw what was not so good, and now we know. Yeah, and what was Going like into the festive really period. close to being good. Yeah. And I think it's good because it's been a while since you've actually just got out there and tried some of our festive stuff, because yeah. we've always got so much other food, haven't we? Yeah. Guys, we hope you enjoyed watching. We certainly enjoyed tasting. Yeah. Don't forget, we will leave a link down below to our British Candy Box website, our festive boxes are live so get them while you can yeah they're great either for yourself or to send to friends and family as a present and if you don't want to get one of our candy boxes but you do want to get us a little hot chocolate or a mince pie this christmas there is the thanks button down below yeah that's cute anyway we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon bye guys see ya